What's up guys, Grizzly Wizard here, welcome back to the channel. I'm reacting to Legend of Vox Machina Season 1 for the very first time. We're on Episode 8. Uh, so, we are inching ever closer to a confrontation with the Briarwoods. Percy just reunited with his sister for about five seconds, and then they fridged her. Scanlan successfully led a distraction to burn down the building, get rid of a bunch of guards. And I think we're going to start this episode off with Percy once again losing control. Uh, we kind of got an explanation for the pepper box, but it's still a great big mystery why he has the mask, why the smoke is coming out. Also, where the hell is Pike? That's kind of annoying me. I hope she comes back in, because she was cool. Anyway, let's see what happens next. Light and mercy cleanse the soul. Light and mercy cleanse the soul. Oh, sweet! It's Pike! I was just saying. Excellent. Cleanse the soul. Are you? Oh, that's not the Everlight. Man, spirituality seems like it kind of sucks in this universe. <laughs> we'll try this again in a few hours. When you've regained your strength. Man, how many times has she done this, do you think, at this point? It's too dangerous, Pike Trickfoot. Pike Trickfoot. Sounds like your name is Patrick Foot. Especially one for whom the connection to the Everlight is questionable. Questionable why? Because she's a halfling? Or is she a dwarf? Or is she a gnome? I don't I can never remember. There's too many of them. I've wanted to do that for longer than you can imagine. Then why did you wait until now? So she's just like putting mud, like a poultice, on a on a slit throat. <laughs> you didn't know your parents like I did. They took every opportunity to keep an intellect like mine nose down, tutoring their misbegotten spawn. If you hated it that much, why didn't you just get a new job, dude? They hired you. It's not like you were a slave to the Dorolo family. Unlike you, Dorolos, the Briar. See me for a greater purpose. And for my efforts, they have given me a great many rewards. Bro, oh, he's got the silver tongue. Greet our guests. No. Oh. My turn. Damn. Did you think you could just shoot them? <laughs> Meanwhile, absolute barbarian rage fest out here. You and you on the white hand one. Ooh. Cassandra? Cassandra, can you hear me? She still looks pretty dead. Man, it's too bad Percy didn't have a revenge field dream about armor-piercing rounds. Nice! Yes, get it in the seams. Oh, what? That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. You look like you need killing. How would you like to kill your friends for me? Don't listen to a silver tongue! He has, like, persuasion power. Not your command. Oh, no. He wouldn't. Oh, no. Fox Machina. Grog. Damn, how do we get out of this? How do we defeat Grog without killing Grog? Grog's the best. Why couldn't he possess Scanlan? Delilah? Whoa. So she's under some sort of a state of demonic oppression from whatever happened to her when she fought the Briarwoods, right? Like, she's got some, like, super deep corruption now. No, oh, damn. Does this mean she can't wake up? Oh, fucking! There you are! Whoa. Better late than never there, Everlight. <laughs> Amazing. 
If you could just manifest like that, where were you when she was crying out your name for the last, like, several episodes? Everlight was off getting groceries, I guess. Speak, child. Who are you? I need to find my way back to your light. Lies will not lead you back. What's she lying about? Damn. She's just having bad time after bad time over there at that temple. I have possessed this Lux and made him rip you apart right away. <laughs> this silver tongue power is pretty cool. It's very powerful. Stay out of his range. There's no reasoning with him while he's strong. Or, you know, ever. <laughs> True. We have to disarm him. How's that gonna work? Damn, Grog is so strong. Has his strength been enhanced by this thing, or is it just persuasion that's happening? Don't stop now, you giant half-wit. It's totally just Grog's natural strength. Because you stole his kill, you jerk. <laughs> we can't stop Grog, so let's stop wasting our time on him. That took way too long. Enough of this! Next. If the dumb one can't complete my task, there are many more resources at my disposal. Pay attention to Rolo. I want you to know how you died. And who did it to you? Your, Your friends. friends. <laughs> nah, because Scanlan's not here. He still has to meet up with them. He's going to somehow save the day. You're right. The Rolo's treated you poorly. Flattery will not prolong your life. And yet it bought me all the time I needed. Oh, trick shot! Oh, God! Damn! That's one way to defeat a silver tongue, I guess. What the fuck? Get it, I guess? It's just moving on its own? God. God damn. We trusted you. And you betrayed us when we needed you most. Guys, the smoke. Damn. Like, I get Percy's motivations, but, like, can he come back from all this? He's gonna become irreparably, like, darkened by it. Damn, and that's the first thing your sister sees you do after all these years? <sighs> You were dead. I thought you'd come back to check. Yeah, seriously, Percy. You never even verified it for yourself. Kept you alive. Of course they did. They had use for me. What was the use? Oh, sure. Morale. Propaganda. Running away was never my strong suit. Ouch. You don't need to anymore. We are together. I don't think she's going to survive. Percy seems like one of those characters who's like just nonstop tragedy. He never gets a break. So I don't think that Cassandra's gonna survive. We need to signal Archie. Let him know that Cassandra is safe. Is she safe? Are they still in Anders' building? I was gonna say, they haven't actually absconded with her yet. I've always wanted to try this. Cool. Keyleth has some awesome powers. Just revealing the moon. That's really cool, actually. Even Gina Torres can see the moon. Oh. Maven Blackbriar is pissed. Or whatever her name is. Where's my steward? I, I, I'm sorry, Lady Briarwood. Did you need me to bring you something? You already have. She's gonna eat you. Oh, God! Man, this show loves their throat slashes. Oh, she's gonna raise him back as something much worse. This is what we're gonna have to fight next episode. Oh, that's cool. How it traveled through the blood smear at first. Oh, 
God, she's so cool when she does spell casting. It's so scary. Fucking blood magic and everything. God damn it. And the last time she went raising ghouls, it like almost almost took out the whole party. <laughs> We've done all we can do for her. Come on, Pike. She's too far gone. When Pike finally wakes up, she's gonna be like way more powerful. Way more attuned. The flames will burn away your falsehoods. I'm not lying to you, I swear. Not to me, little one. No, it's gonna turn out to be something super after school special cheesy, like I'm lying to myself, I'm scared or something. To yourself. Yep. The truth is, I left the righteous path. I was drawn to depravity and violence. When I'm with my friends, we, we mix it up because I put them before you. They're why you cut off my connection to your light. Nope. Unless you didn't sever it. You did. I did. Now you speak truth. We walk down a path. Any path can be a holy one. So long as one walks it with truth. It's a good message. It's a good message. As long as you have honesty and integrity in what you do, you can do it righteously. Who are you? See, the whole thing was about self-confidence. It was just about just, you know, stand behind your own decisions and own own your choices in life. You got scan land. You got scan land. Man, this was almost a perfect episode. <laughs> nope, nope, it's undead, it's a trap. Zombie feeding on another person. <laughs> Of course it's zombies. Yeah, because fuck me, that's why. Hey, oh, Scanlan! I got arrowed a bunch. I had two voices in the <laughs> I got a stupid tongue in the face. That's a perfect recap of the episode. <laughs> there's a whore. Whore. There's a whore. Yeah, not really the time for one of your whorehouse stories. <laughs> that was pretty good. Normally I hate the Scanlan jokes, but that one was pretty good. All right, time to smash some undead next time. This is definitely the end of the episode, you can tell. Oh, they're everywhere. Ooh. This was a really good one. I really liked this one. Keyleth's signal in the clouds was my favorite part of the episode, for sure. Her druid powers are really, really cool. Man, I was really worried for Grog for a second there. I was like, well, if he's been possessed, like, how do we stop him? And then the whole party got possessed? That was rough. That was rough. Yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. I think I think it's going to all blend together next time. We're going to have to fight a horde of zombies before we finally make it to the, to the Briarwoods. I, I, it's funny. I said a couple episodes ago, I was like, wow, it looks like we're going to deal with the Briarwoods really quickly. At this point, it's going to take the whole season. At this point, I think that they are, like, pretty untouchable until we clear the path of every mini boss in front of them first that's kind of how these things work and pike finally got her groove back so fingers crossed she uh, she rejoins the group next episode but like i don't know how far away she traveled for that temple i feel like it might take her like a whole episode of travel just to get back to the group but we could really use her help so especially with the undead right yeah this is fun i'm enjoying this show i've only got a couple episodes to go in season one here thanks for watching everybody i hope you enjoyed my reaction to vox machina episode eight a silver tongue this reaction was edited to comply with fair use. If you want to watch the full-length uncut version of this reaction, it's available on Patreon. There's a link in the description of the video to the Patreon page. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace! <laughs>